हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू अवर चैनल स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक व्हिच इज यूज्ड इन बोथ मैथ्स एंड फिजिक्स इन क्लास 11th एंड दैट टॉपिक इज टू फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ एरर्स वी आर गोइंग टू सी हाउ वी आर गोइंग टू फाइंड एब्सोल्यूट एरर फ्रैक्शनल एरर एंड परसेंटेज एरर व्हेन सम वैल्यूज आर गिवन ओके लेट्स स्टार्ट विद एब्सोल्यूट एरर व्हाट इज एन एब्सोल्यूट एरर students when you perform an experiment you get a final result which is a numerical value and you must be knowing the actual value of that physical quantity whose value you have just calculated experimentally for example suppose we know the refractive index of glass is 1.5 we all know that the refractive index of glass is 1.5 and that is fixed now now you are trying to find the refractive index of the glass from an experiment and it came out to be suppose 1.6 let us say it came out to be 1.6 because there are many things in an experiment due to which an error can occur like uh, you you don't know the correct procedure of doing the experiment or uh, the value of temperature and pressure in the laboratory in which the in which you are doing the experiment the value of uh gravitation the value of magnetic field there are so many factors which can affect your result so if we know that the actual value of refractive index is 1.5 and the calculated value of the refractive index is 1.6 then absolute error is the difference of these two values right so x calculated x c matlab x calculated and x t x t means the true value and that is called the absolute error in x we are putting the modulus sign for example if you if if the calculated value is 1.6 and the actual value is 1.5 then if you subtract 1.6 from 1.5 you will get 0.1 but you can do this in this way also in this case you will get minus 0.1 so we are not interested in the sign of this we are just in interested how much difference is between the actual value and the true value so it doesn't matter if we subtract the true value actual value and uh, not the true value the calculated value and the true value we are just interested to find the difference between the calculated value and the true value so it doesn't make any difference if you subtract calculated value from true value or true value from calculated value we just have to put the modulus sign which means we have to ignore the sign right so this this difference is called the absolute error in this quantity which is represented by delta with the symbol of that quantity since we are finding the error in x so we will write for this the symbol is delta x so calculated value minus this clear okay now since when you do an experiment in physics you take more than one reading to just to just make yourself sure that you are performing the experiment correctly or we know that error can come in one in uh, one reading or in two reading so if we take four or five readings we are reducing the probability of an error right so generally we take at least three readings when we do a physics experiment so what we are going to do if we have more than one reading suppose the outcomes of an experiment are x1 x2 x3 up to xn these are the outcomes of an experiment now we are going to find the absolute errors in all of this but since suppose we do not know the actual value we do not know the actual value of of uh, the physical quantity who who has these values for example suppose we are finding the refractive index of a medium and we performed this experiment five times so we got five different values five slightly different values and we do not know the actual value of the refractive index of that medium the example that we took of glass it had a refractive index of 1.5 so in that case we knew the refractive index we knew the actual value 
of the outcome but in this case suppose we do not know the actual value of the outcome so what we are going to do we have five values and we will take the mean of these values we will take xm xm is the mean of these values which is x1 plus x2 plus x3 up to xn and we will divide this by n right so this value is considered to be the actual value the true value right so this value the mean of all these values is considered to be the true value now what we are going to do we will find the absolute errors in each of these values we will simply subtract the mean value which is regarded as the true value from every value and we will put a mod sign which means even if this is negative we are going to take it as positive so delta x2 is what delta x2 is x2 minus xm and similarly delta xn is what delta xn is xn minus xm okay so now what we will do we will take the average of all the errors and this is represented by delta xm which is called the mean absolute error you getting my point first we took the average of we calculated the average of all these values and took that as the true value right now then we calculated the difference of all these values from the actual value which was xm so all these individual errors are called absolute errors this delta x1 is called absolute error in x1 delta x2 is absolute error in x1 if we take the mean of all these if we take the mean of all this then this mean value of error this one this mean value of error is called mean mean absolute error mean absolute error right so what is the percentage error or the first we will discuss the fractional error what is the fractional error in the value of this quantity that we are calculating fractional error is simply this value divided by the mean value this value was regarded as the actual value but we knew that this is not the actual value just we we just took this as the actual value value because we did not know the actual value so we take we took it as the actual value but we knew that this is not the correct value of the physical quantity so we know there is some error in this value and that error is this right these are the errors in this individual in in these individual quantities but in this the error is this so what is the fractional error fractional error is simply the error as compared to 1 for example if the value of this quantity is 10 and value of this is 2 then the fractional error is 2 divided by 10 which is 0 0.2 the meaning of that is simply so if the value of this is 10 then with respect to 10 the error is 2 and if with respect to 10 the error is 2 then with respect to 1 error should be 0 0.2 so fractional value means the value with respect to 1 and percentage error percentage error is simply the value with respect to 100 so we will just multiply this fractional error by 100 to get the value of percentage error right okay okay let's take an example this is an experiment to find the time period of a simple pendulum and we did this experiment five times and these are the outcomes that we calculated in first case the time period came out to be 1.4 seconds 
In second case, it was 1.5, then 1.7, then 1.6, then 1.8. So we got all different values, right? So what is the actual time period? Now let us take, let us take, okay, this is the time period. So we are going to take the symbol as t. Now let us take the mean value of all these times, which is 1.4 plus 1.5 plus 1.7 plus 1.6 plus 1.8 which is 29, 39, 49, 46, 56, 62, 70, 80, 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 and 8 plus 6, 14, 14 21, 21, 9, 30. Yeah, this is 8. So this 8 divided by 5. 8 divided by 5 which is simply 1.6 right so the mean value of the time period is 1.6 now we are going to find the absolute error in each and every value first value was 1.4 so if we subtract 1.6 from this then we are going to get uh, minus 0.2 but since the mod is there so we will it we will write it just as 0.2 now delta t2 is, what was the second value? 1.5 minus 1.6. So it is 0 0.1. Delta t3 is 1.7 minus 1.6. It is 0 0.1. Delta t4 is simply 1.6 minus 1.6 which is 0 and delta delta t5 is 1.8 minus 1.6 which is again 0 0.2 now now let's find the mean absolute error in time period which is represented by delta tm which is 0 0.2 plus 0 0.1 plus 0 0.1 plus 0 so we are not going to write 0 plus 0 0.2 divided by how many values were there 5 right we are adding just 4 because the fifth value was 0 that doesn't mean that number of values were 4 so we'll divide it by 5 0 0.1 0 0.3 0 0.4 0 0.6 so it is 0 0.6 divided by 5 which is 0 0.012 so this is called the mean absolute error okay so what is the fractional error we will directly find the percentage error in this so what is the percentage error percentage error is simply the fractional error error which is 0 0.012 divided by the value of the mean into 100. So if we multiply this by 100, then it is 1.2 divided by 1.6, which is simply 3 divided by 4 or 0.75%. So percentage error is 0.75. This is how we can find the percentage error when there are number of values and if there is only one value then the procedure is very simple you you have to apply the same procedure either the value is one or there are more number of values right so this was all about calculating the values of fractional errors and percentage errors i'll meet you in the next lecture till then all the very best